welcome to today's video. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, I recently got a melanistic jeweled Lacerda, which is a regular jeweled Lacerda that happens to be all black. And I did an unboxing video, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. The sad thing about that video is that we barely get to see him. <laughs> you got to see like a glimpse of him in a container and then I put him in the setup and he just like vanished. I didn't even like see him. I like put it in slow motion to try and see him vanishing and it was so fast that you can barely even see that. Um, and then for weeks after that, I never saw him. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update video on how he's doing, my progress with him, and just more footage so you can actually see him for the first time and just get to know him because he is now a part of my loving family and he's one of my dream reptiles that I've always wanted and I'm just so happy to have him and I want to share him with you guys. So that's what today's video is going to be. So when I first got him, first of all, first of all, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video. I think I did it very quickly. I named him Abraxas. So it is after a black dragon in one of my favorite book series called Throne of Glass. And he just fits the part perfectly. The dragon in that book is all black, is magnificent, and just loves to smell flowers and has like an adorable personality. And I feel like that fits him very well. Um, as I mentioned, the first couple of weeks that I had him, I did not see him. It was really sad. There was one time that he actually got stuck in between the substrate shield and the front door. This can happen sometimes. A lot of the times my snakes do this. They cram their chunky bodies and love to like jam it in between the substrate shield and the door. Um, but my little lizard did it and so that was like the first time I actually got to see him close up because he was stuck and I had to help remove him. So here's the footage from that. He got stuck in between the door and the substrate shield. I'm trying to lift him up. Here you go. Here you go. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. <laughs> Poor baby. So yeah. Um, that doesn't, that never happened any other time. It's not like something I constantly have to worry about. It was just kind of like a freak thing because he probably got scared and just like jumped in there. Um, but that was like the first time I got to see him close up and I was so excited about it, even though I felt bad for him because he was stuck. But other than that, the only way that I knew he was in his setup is I have this little white bowl that I put his food in or offering, I just like offer him food. And I would notice that the food would be missing every single day and there would be like dirt in it. Um, I'd see his little poops around this setup and like that was literally the only trace that he left of his existence. He is just very highly skittish and spooked, which is very common for jeweled Lacertas, especially the babies. Um, and they're very fast. So again, like when I put him in the setup, he was gone in like a matter of seconds. So not very much handling is going on. However, over time, he's becoming way more comfortable. Um, even today, I came in here and he was basking front and center and he didn't run away. I was able to like sit down, stare at him, take pictures. He literally will like pose for pictures now. And he is becoming curious of me, which is so cool to me. Because you would think a skittish lizard like this, the only thing they're thinking about is getting away and me as a potential predator. However, multiple times now I've been like, I've had these one-on-one -on -one moments with him where he just is curious. He doesn't run away and he's just staring at me. And just that little behavior just shows so much of his like the potential of his personality that's going to be unraveling over time. Like I can already tell. So it just makes me extremely excited to keep working with him. Um, these lizards, as I mentioned, they're very skittish um, and they can be kind of difficult to handle. However, if you do work with them, a lot of people have relationships with them that are very similar to bearded dragons and they can handle them and they do become very trusting and they are extremely curious and intelligent lizards. So it really 
it kind of reminds me of like monitor behavior so it's just it's very interesting a lot of people say that these lizards are like mini tegus um and especially when it comes to personality and they got that forked tongue going too which i absolutely love so that's just another component about these lizards that makes them so cool uh, but yeah, I just, I can't wait to keep working with him. I haven't held him in my hands yet. I've held him on like other objects in the setup. Um, the only reason I'm not handling him outside of the enclosure or anything is because he's so fast and he does bolt here and there. I don't want to lose him in the room. And I have like, like this area behind this plant. I have a lot of crap back there. That is like the perfect spot that I know that he would just bolt to immediately. And I can't even express the amount of stress that I would be under if he got in there. So we're not risking that. So eventually over time, I think I would love to try to tong feed him. I haven't done that just yet. When it comes to feeding, he likes to eat privately. I did catch a video of him eating a super worm though. He actually trusted me enough. I was sitting here reading in the reptile room and he came out and he ate and it was the first and only time that I've seen him eat other than I've seen him hunt a cricket and I saw him like licking his chops afterward. Those are the only two incidents that I have seen him eat. Other than that, he will just wait for some privacy and come out on his own time and then eat all of his food. Um, so tong feeding in the future is definitely something I want to try. I've tried it a couple of times and he just, I don't know, it does look intimidating for an animal if they're just eating out of a bowl, going from that to having this like long pole being put in your face with a bug on the end of it. He like isn't trusting it yet. So it's something that we're working on. Um, and then over time I can lure him onto my arm, similar to like what I do with my chameleons and try handling that way. I would prefer for him to honestly just be bigger um, when I try to handle him, he's just so small and so flighty and I'm just, my biggest fear is losing him. So handling is not something that I'm like pressuring or super worried about at the moment. Right now I'm just enjoying him, watching him and he's watching me now too. He's very observant and just seems like a smart, curious little fella. And I just love his personality. He's just, it's unlike anything I've worked with before. Um, so it's just extremely exciting for me and I'm loving every second of it. So I just wanted to show you guys some pictures and videos and so that we can actually see what this guy looks like finally. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy him as much as I do and I will keep the updates going. Eventually I will do a care video on this species because I haven't owned him for that long. I don't feel comfortable doing it just yet. I want some more like experience under my belt before I make a video like that, but definitely in the future that will be coming your way um, along with any other videos. If you guys wanna see anything in particular regarding Abraxas, my melanistic jewel Lacerda, please let me know some ideas. Um, and I'll keep those in mind in the future as well. But for now, he's still settling in. I'm waiting for him to grow and I'm just loving him because he is so cool. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one.